What's up everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the iOS 14 updates and how it's going to affect you as e-commerce store owners. First, I'm going to start off with the facts about what's actually going to happen and then talk about as well as show you what you need to do right now and also give you some insights on what can possibly happen in the future. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so let's start off by talking about what's actually happening. So what's happening is that Apple is tightening up on their privacy. And it's not only affecting Facebook, but all other advertising platforms. So Pinterest, Shopify, TikTok, and including Facebook. But Facebook is just being hit the hardest because they use or they leverage the massive amounts of data they have the most. And this is why, you know, you can scale so well. That's why Facebook is the most popular platform to advertise on because they have so much data and what apple is doing is, is really mitigating their abilities or facebook's abilities to leverage that data and drive good results for the customers so that's why facebook is worried so how is this going to affect you this is going to affect you because you're going to be limited to eight conversion events whether or not they opt in or not so you're going to have landing page views view content add to cart initiate checkout payment details and purchases and if you're doing leads for remarketing um, you'll have that as well and you still have space for one more conversion event so it's not going to be too detrimental for e-commerce store owners this is an update that's going to be a huge issue for app developers instead um, a big question that i had was okay so if they opt in we'll get the eight conversion events but if they opt out are we still going to get the eight as of right now off of a blog from common thread collective which is a facebook advertising agency so they stated that if the user opts out we will still get the highest priority conversion event which is purchase we might not get the other eight or other seven but we will still get purchase and if they opt in we're still only going to get the eight conversion events so what will be the most affected though is going to be retargeting. So if users opt out of tracking, we might not be able to see page views, add to carts and initiate checkout. So some action items for you is to verify your domain. This is going to allow you to have those eight conversion events through Facebook's aggregated event management. So I'm going to hop into my computer real quick and show you how to verify your domain. Okay. So now that we're in our computer, my computer you just go if you're an ads manager you go to the bottom left gear icon press business settings you go to brand safety press domains press add type in the domain press add domain so there's two different ways you can verify you can use dns verification or you can use a meta tag verification i'll show you both i've never done the html file upload but I'll show you the two that I've done in the past. So you just go here, you click it to copy. And then now I'm in my GoDaddy settings. So I just press add and it's a text, I believe. Yeah, text record, just caught, just paste it there. And then the host is just the app, press save and it should be added. It does take a little bit. So I, I, I'm pretty sure if I press verify right now, it's not going to be verified. All right, so for the meta tag verification, you go copy to clipboard, you go into online store and themes, then you go edit code. You go to theme.liquid and then anywhere underneath the head, you can just do it right here. Copy and paste, press save. Now you go back press verify and it's verified. I don't know whether it was the DNS verification or the meta tag verification that did it, but they both work. So that's done. Everything is verified and we're all good to go. So the next action item that I have is to verify your business manager. This isn't going to solve all the problems that you have with Facebook, but it's definitely going to make your life a lot easier. 
the way that you verify a business manager is register for a business anywhere, wherever you live. So if you're in the US, you can do um, a sole proprietorship or an LLC or a corporation. If you're in Canada, we only have the option to do a sole proprietorship or a corporation. Um, if you want to do, if you are in Canada and you want to do a sole proprietorship, I, I'll leave a link down below. You'll get $50 off your registration and it only comes out to about $30 with the link that I'm giving you. So if you're in Canada and you don't have a registered business yet and you want to, um, click the link down below and you'll get a nice little discount when you're registering your business. And just a, just a little tip, if you're not registering your business in the same name as your domain, make sure in your footer you go property of business name. So if your business name is Jeremy's business, I would write property of Jeremy's business. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So you go to online store themes and you press edit languages. I would just type powered by because then you want to replace the powered by Shopify text with this. And then I hear I deleted it. But as you can see, when I press backspace, the default is powered by Shopify. So you just write property of sorry, I'm typing with one hand because I'm holding a mic, but property of business name. So that's what you do. Press save and then you're good to go. So now that we've gone over a little bit about the facts and we've also gone over what you can do to prepare yourself, let's go over what some people in the industry have to say about this update. So the first comment I'm going to go over, which is in the Facebook ads experts Academy by John Mack says, this is a non-issue guys. Apple cannot control data flow from Shopify, Commerce HQ, and other platforms that are passed to Facebook. We're implementing API tracking for our users at Commerce HQ this week via our built-in app. Shopify is doing the same. Apple has zero control over our Facebook tracking user behavior when they're using Facebook apps. If Apple banned Facebook ads apps, then there will be a serious problem that will, and, but that will never happen. Very interesting take. Um, what he's saying is that even though we can't track or Facebook can't track people once they leave the app, they can grab that data from, I guess, the server side from Shopify or whatever website hosting service or whatever e-commerce platform you're using and send that directly to Facebook. So we don't even need the tracking or the cookies. We can just take that data and communicate that with Facebook. Another comment that was pretty interesting was, um, by Nick. So he's saying to everyone looking for some clear next steps, use Facebook's um, conversion API, which is pretty much the app that they introduced before where it made it a lot more annoying to connect your pixel. This is pretty much what I was just talking about where they take the data from Shopify and transports that over to or exports to Facebook or communicates with the Facebook um, servers so that it can track your data better. So this is kind of the, the way to go around the whole iOS 14 issue. That's what Nick is talking about. Soon enough, Facebook will migrate to a fully server side tracking system, pulling data straight from your site server, which works more accurately than the pixel anyways. This way, operating system updates like iOS 14 and ad blockers won't interfere with their conversion tracking. A pretty easy fix for us Shopify and WooCommerce users. When the iOS update takes effect, using the conversion API will be mandatory and it'll become more effective with Facebook's advanced profile matching. So follow, follow Facebook's recommended next steps, integrate conversion API on your shop and just wait for Facebook changes for how Facebook changes their platform for a fully server based tracking system. They've got smart engineers working on it to make it happen. And I believe it'll be better accuracy wise than the pixel. So these are two different perspectives, which is kind of similar to each other, but they believe that Facebook's gonna work it out with their conversion API. Um, pretty much saying what the same thing, pretty much saying the same thing that John Mack said, which is we don't need the tracking or the cookies and that we can just take the data that Shopify is getting and connect that data with the data that Facebook has. So with that being said, I hope you're a little bit less worried about this whole situation understanding what can happen in the future, understanding what we have, what we know right now, and knowing what you can do to prepare yourself for what is to come. So 
If you got any value whatsoever, drop a like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That would be amazing. And if you want to see more content like this, follow me on Instagram. So thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.